Don't you just hate it when you're sitting in a talk and the speaker is using tons and tons of jargon? It not only makes it really hard to understand, but it's also kind of boring. My name is Rehana Maktoufi, and my research is about helping scientists communicate their research in a more exciting and clear way. So one way to do this is using science fiction references. Let's start with an example. I could tell you that the asteroids in the solar system are scattered over a vast volume of space. But instead, I could choose to tell you a story. Think of the movie Star Wars. Do you remember that scene when Han Solo is in his spaceship, the Millennium Falcon, and he's dodging all these asteroids that are really close to each other? But are the asteroids in space that close to each other? No, they're not. Just think of the asteroids in our own asteroid belt. The average distance between two asteroids is around 600,000 miles. That's three times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. You see what I just did there? I used a science fiction reference to talk about science. I told you about the Star Wars to talk about the different asteroids instead of just saying the asteroids are scattered over a vast volume in space. You see, I have my own weird sciency language, and you have your own language, but we also have a language in common, which is the language of science fiction. In this language, we have characters we both know, settings and plots we both know, and terms that we both know. And that makes talking to each other so much easier and fun. This is what I've been learning at the Adler Planetarium. Scientists there use this method to talk about different scientific concepts. So what they do is that they either talk about the similarities between science and science fiction, or they talk about the dissimilarities between science and science fiction. Let's go back to our example. When I tell you about the movie Star Wars and how Han Solo dodging the asteroids is not really a thing, I'm talking about the dissimilarities between science and science fiction. However, scientists sometimes use the similarities between the real science and science fiction. So if I tell you about the movie Interstellar and how the black hole slows down time for people around it, I could be talking about the similarities between the real science and science fiction. And this is how I use science fiction to talk about different scientific facts. So remember, next time someone asks you, why are you watching a movie and not doing science? Tell them, excuse me, I am doing science, science fiction style. Nah.